The opinions made in this video do not necessarily coincide with that of Imaginary Goddess, or anyone else for that matter. Viewer discretion is advised. It's easy enough to just walk away Then coming to terms with what to say This feeling inside I just can't bear Wavering here, wavering there hey Guys, Ben Wheeler the Mercenary King here, here with the man, the dragon, the legend. That was pretty badass. <sighs> I guess I'll have to just listen in on it later on. So here's what we got here. The Vanguard G Legend deck, Dragonic... Wait, no, wait. The Overlord Blaze, Toshiki Kai. Toshiki Kai, there we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, Pre-constructed deck, 56 cards for one player. That means four strides, I think, of the Noval Vague. Two strides of the ace. Random deck can, with an exclusive hot stamp card. And it looks like there's either a novel vague sort of thing. Vogue. I don't remember. Stride thing. Or it looks like a Dragonic Overlord stride thing. I'm actually really wanting this one. There's also a Kai deck holder. A Kai fighter card. A Toshiki Kai clan. Oh wait, no. This is the front and the back. And what's the hot stamped? I don't know. Um... Uh, also a special PR. I think this is the Overlord, uh, the Ace, Dota. <laughs> um, Starter's Guide, How to Play, and a Playmat. Ooh. Uh, already talked about this. Support of Bushy Road, 9 plus years. List of the cards. Looks like Nahalem on the side. And Vortex Dragon on the other side. Or maybe the promos. Oh shit, I don't even know anymore. Also, I'm going to open it up. Looks like Dragonic Overlord on the front and a Novell something or other on the front. Ooh, it's a double pack. Uh, and it looks like I got the Novell Vague one. Unless there isn't one. I don't know. Uh, let's open this up. I'll look at the cards in a little bit. First off is the box. Toshiki Kai on the front. Uh, and some Novell stuff. Looks like Vortex Dragon and Novell on the front as well as Dragonic Overlord. With the uh, clan symbol, again, I'm really happy about these clan symbols. It's even got fires on the head. It's pretty great. Totes sweet. Uh, as for the card stuff, I'll start off with this. Now this is looking to be a fancy ass deck. Uh, uh, no, not deck. Uh, fuck. Playmat. I already tore it a little bit. No, yes. Uh, come on. Come on, baby. All right. Looks like the legend and the legend. All on one little mat here. Vanguard G, the Overlord Blaze, Toshiki Kai. Man, I don't know why they can't just be like, Dragonic Overlord, like they are in the anime. Um, actually, interestingly enough, until season, like, four, Toshiki uh, Kai was, like, the most interesting character in the series. More or less, except for maybe Ren, I guess, when he was evil. Um... <laughs> Uh, so it's like, oh, and then Legion Mate came in and he went super weird for Aichi, and, you know, kind of derailed it from there. Looks like two of the aces. This used to be a $26 card. Now it's a promo. Just like how they're doing Olivia, a $100 card. Now she's a rare. Or will be. Toshiki Kai, very nice. As always, I'm super pleased with these cards, with the little symbol on the back, as well as the card on the front. Kind of wish it was Dragonic Overlord, though, but hey, it's not too bad. Um, Novel Vague for 10000 5000 for the Overlord. Pretty sweet. And the usual starter's guide. I won't open it up. I've done that on the gold video. If you want a more in-depth view of the starter's guide, you can go to the gold where I open it up and show you things and then comment on it and then never see it again. Which one shall I do? I'm going to do this one. Alright. So it's Dragonic Overlord, the legend. Uh, G-Break 2, Counterblast 1, choose a grade 3 Flame Dragon from Hand to Discard It. 
Uh, until the end of the turn, this unit gets plus 15k, grade plus 1, so it becomes a grade 4, and drive plus 1. And choose three cards from hand, until end of, and auto vanguard once per turn. Choose three cards from hand and discard them. Uh, at the end of the battle that this unit attacked a vanguard, you may pay the cost if you do stand this unit. Um, attacked a rearguard. Did I say vanguard? I meant rearguard. Counterblast, soul, uh, one soul blast. One once you is placed on vanguard. You may pay the cost if you do top five from deck. Search for one flame dragon. Reveal it to your opponent. Put it in hand, shuffle deck. So, about half of Kagero's support is flame dragons. Um, Amber is a flame dragon. Uh, Nahalem is not. Some demons. A salamander. Oh lord. I can see how people are going to be like buying four of these each. Uh, but point is, is that you can build entire decks made of flame dragons. So you can just do whatever you like. I think even there's the, the G-Perfect is a flame dragon. Yeah, someone's shaking their head. Okay, I mean, nodding their head, so we're good there. So, you know, <laughs> there's no excuse not to run a full flame dragon deck with this guy. However, I'm going to be doing interesting shit with the seal dragons with them, so we'll see what happens. But a lot of people have been talking about the various combos with them. First off, when this unit attacked a rear guard. So in other words, you cannot break ride. It's the same rules as Tidal Assault. If you attack a vanguard but don't use Tidal Assault's ability, the ability is lost. If you attack a rear guard and don't use this guy's ability, the ability is lost. So you can't Dragonic Overlord with Dragonic Overlord, the, the legend. Um, but what you can do is Dauntless. Now... So basically, you attack the vanguard, attack a rearguard, attack the vanguard. The problem with attacking the vanguard first is unless you have something interesting on there that prevents them from intercepting, seal dragons, uh, but seal dragons are very archetype dependent, um, but there might be something, you basically can't prevent your opponent from laughing at you and then intercepting with two of its, its front row rearguards, preventing you from restanding the guy again. Um, even though the ability does go off and he gets the plus one drive check and all that jazz, it's not the same as, as the full thing. So be smart, kids. Intercept. It could save your game. Also, stuff like Brilliant Blister and anything that sort of restricts uh, restanding uh, will also affect this guy. There's also the fact that this does not guarantee a grade three. means that you could have Dragonic Overlord and be ready to go, but you don't have a grade three Flame Dragon. However... With the strides running around like Novel Vague and the two aces that they handily gave you in the deck, um, you're going to be just fine on that account. I mean, uh, in all seriousness, you're going to be just fine. Uh, really, he does do go good with break rides. He does good with uh, things like Amber Dragon Midnight. This guy is so versatile, it's almost like he was designed to be the head port of part of any... Uh, Kagero deck, and no exaggeration when I say he's probably one of the most important cards for, to come out for Kagero since Dragonic Overlord the X, uh, five, six sets ago. Um, and no, Blade Master isn't more important than the X. I mean, uh, they haven't even given Blade Master proper support in forever. So, hopefully, they'll get something because he's kind of cool of an idea. Either way, Dragonic Overlord, the legend, uh, is a fantastic card. Really looking forward to working with him. I'll describe some combos with him in the future. Um, and I uh, hope you guys will look forward to that till the end of the video. So, Amber Dragon Midnight, Counterblast 1. When this is placed on Vanguard and Rearguard, you may pay the cost if you do. By the way, G-Break 1. Choose one of your opponent's grade 1 or less rearguards and retire it. This guy's meh. Uh, Counterblast 1, when it's placed, G-Break, kill something. Doesn't work when you have to ride this bastard first off. Um, really, he's not a bad card at all, but again, having to stride before you can use him and he's Vanguard or Rearguard Circle means that you might have to, you know, ride him, don't get any abilities at all on your first ride before stride, and then just stride later. Of course, you might say, but strides makes up for it, but at the same time, that's still a wasted ride and a wasted ability that you could not activate. Besides the fact he's not an overlord, so he doesn't activate the ace. Uh, Emperor Dragon Knight Nahalem. Uh, the old Nahalem is one of the original Kagero cards. Uh, except he was a 10k back then. Now he's a 9k. G-Break 1. During your, end of, during your turn, if you have a Vanguard with Overlord, 
this unit gets plus 2k, so he's already an 11k attacker. And then when your grade 4 or greater vanguard attacks, uh, or uh, this unit gets plus 5k for free until end of turn. This is actually a deck that could work with uh, stands a little bit. Of course, you'd have to like attack with something, then put like stand that. But it's something I'm considering be just because of the amount of power you can get and the amount of attacks you can get just for you know the four six drive checks that you could perform and guarantee yourself basically a stand or two. Um, he does a, he will do a lot of work for you, and just the fact that he gets plus a twelve k on a nine k base should be a uh, sort of fainting swoon sort of reaction from any hardcore Kagero player. Because a lot of them wear these things. And even then, if it's just you're playing, like, the great, and then you stride, you know, a, um, a half... Oh, by the way, I'll mention him towards the end when I talk about the strides. Um, when you have a halfway decent, you know, Zom attack or something like that, or a uh, uh, route, Root Flare, you know, he still gets plus 7k. Turning him into a 16k by himself. Then we have Spear of the Flame Dragon, Tar. Uh, then we have Counter Blast, Soul Blast, choo uh, G Break. Mm. Once per turn, choose up to one of your other units. It gets plus 4k when this unit attacks the Vanguard. Look at top 5, search for 1 grade 3 Flame Dragon uh, from among them. Reveal it to your opponent, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. Thankfully, this guy can't search out Perfect Shields. But he can search out Dragonic Overlord the Legend, he can search out Amber Dragon Midnight, he can search out the Great, he can search out, well, just about anything you can possibly imagine. And he's not even bound by Overlords. So that's a lot of fun. He's a very useful guy and turning your deck into a toolbox. When Kagero first came out, their abilities were Restanding, Superior Riding, and the Toolbox. In fact, they were one of the first clans along with Royal Paladins to Toolbox. Except theirs was more burning, fiery, ouchy kind of thing. Uh, then we have Flame of Tranquility, Eremo. Uh, he used to be a guy who was like on boost. I think if it hits, drop, draw a card and drop a card. Or is it drop a card, draw a card? I can't remember. Choose a card from your hand and discard it. When this unit is placed on Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your Vanguards. Vanguard only, being attacked. And this unit cannot be hit until end of battle. Unless it's a Metal Board player. <laughs> then if there's a card, uh, or Die Kaiser player. <laughs> there we go. Uh, then if there's a card, Flame of Tranquility, Aramo in the drop zone, draw a card. Choose a card from your hand, discard it. So basically you draw, see if you want it, discard it. If you do want it, you take something else and discard it. Uh, the main shadows have their own version of that. Then Temple Master Hakai. Uh, he is a ugly son of a bitch. Um, but he's a crit trigger. Damn, he's ugly. Then we have Sanzo Master Genjo. Uh, the original heel, uh, heel for Kagura was Dragon Monk Genjo. And I think this guy does pretty good. I think I like the original art a little better, though. Uh, I feel it has more artistic you know, energy in it, uh, even though this is a more action-packed card. I'll do strides later. Whoop. Then we have Flame of Ar Armor of the Flame Dragon, Bar. Uh, looks like we only got three of these guys. That's disappointing. I actually liked them. Choose a grade three Flame Dragon from your drop zone and put it at the bottom of the deck, so you can search it out later. Um, when this unit intercepts, we may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gets plus 10k. It's a fantastic ability, excellent defense, perfect synergy with Dragonic Overlord, the legend. So, you know, just by chance. Almost like this deck's built around the bastard. Um, really defensive. Kagro is a defensive class clan with a large amount of control due to its retire. And so there's just a lot you can do with the sort of cards here. Kagro hasn't really had much to do with defense for a while. Um, you might be like, eh, you just said this, but I'm like, yeah, but it's originally like this. Uh, especially when they were one of the first clans to have an 11k Vanguard along with Nova Grapplers. Uh, that was a, you know, actually matter card, Dragonic Overlord. And they continued on to having one of the first cross rides. And actually the first proper cross ride revealed in the uh, anime, 
uh, after that was PBO and then MLB, for those of you who are keeping track. And then he's just shown up all the time, you know, just from constant stuff. And, you know, the Grade 3 Flame Dragons, like I said before, you're playing Flame Dragons all the time. So, you're going to be just fine. Especially with that one guy. Where was he? Flame of... Spear of the Flame Dragon. Tar. He searches top five for a Grade 3. Hmm. A Grade 3 that you could spend on this guy. Hmm. Yeah. Fortunately, though, he's an act and Tar is on attack. Otherwise, this might start getting a little too OP. Just a little. Huh. Berserk Lord Dragon. Berserk Dragon was a tr double rare and was in the, uh, um, uh, trial deck. The original trial deck. Uh, I think it was the second trial deck, actually. My mistake. Counterblast 1 with a grade 4, a, gr a greater Vanguard. Eh. Come on, the ace. Go. This guy. Uh, grade 4, a greater Vanguard attacks. You may pay the cost. Kind of last one. If you do choose one of your opponent's grade 2 or less rearguards and retire it. So here's the thing. If they have only one grade 2 rearguard and they are attacking it, should you kill it? No. Kill one of their back row. Always want to kill their back row with the Kagero people. Because if they can't boost, they can't hit you. That's the basic philosophy here. Now, there's a lot of things like 12k attackers, 11k attackers, whatever else have you, you know, out there. But, hey, look, this guy can kill them. The, you know, you can kill everybody with this guy. You just have to be okay with all that counter blast. Uh, just all of it. And then we have Dragon Partner Monica. She was a dancer originally. I'm actually very fond of the dancer sort of su uh, sub archetype, where it's a whole bunch of dancers running around supporting their dragons, which is... Weird if I think about it too long. Uh, dragon Dancer Monica. She used to be a draw trigger. When this unit boosts a Flame Dragon, G Break 1, uh, Rear Guard, when the unit boosts, it gets plus 3k. So when it boosts, Dragonic Overlord, it becomes a 10k, 26, uh, 36k attacker. So you want to keep that for your Vanguard attack, by the way. Uh, but yeah, she's pretty good. I might actually go out of my way to get a couple more of her. I actually think I know where I can do that, too. Uh, let's see here. Lizard General Conroe. The original banned card from Vanguard. He was the first banned card, wasn't he? Conroe? No, Barkle was. And then Conroe. Um, choose a grade 3 from hand. Reveal it when this unit is placed on R from hand. You may pay the cost if you do. Search for one grade 3 with Overlord. Now we know how Kai could beat Xion with like an Overlord deck with 8 different Overlords in it. Uh, in its card name, reveal it to your opponent, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck, choose a card from your hand, discard it. Basically, you ch search out Dragonic Overlord the Legend. Or, say, Dragonic Overlord Zaribatho, or something like that. And, um, you know, you do it. Uh, and then you can just, it's great. He, he just does work. The artwork's kind of ugly as shit compared to the last one, but whatever. Uh, retire this unit, choose one of your... So, Retire this unit, choose a Vanguard with Overlord, and until end of turn, this unit gets, when this unit attacks, counter charge too. So guess what? Guess who, who, guess who benefits from that? This guy, oh wait, no, whoops, whoops, I'm sorry everyone. This guy, the ace. The ace is counter blast too. Blah, 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 attack twice. As you can see, this deck has a lot of things going for it. I'm sorry, not counter blast, counter charge. Oh my goodness. Um, this thing has a lot of stuff going for it. And as such, it's going to kick a lot of ass. I mean, it's, it's one of those things where the winning image is making sure Overlord works, and everything's working to making sure Overlord works. Like, I can't see a... Son of a bitch. Uh, I can't see a single thing in this deck that doesn't vaguely benefit, uh, to a large extent, Dragonic Overlord. You know, it's just one of those things where it's like, you gotta admire their dedication. I mean, I don't even know who they're trying to, like, overthrow with this thing. I mean, is it like Shadows are getting too popular again? We're actually pretty even. Uh, the top three... Did something else fall out? No, it's nothing important. The top three of the most of the tournaments recently have been pretty varied. Like, nothing's been over, like, 15%, when at one time Shadows were, like, 30% or more. Um... Which was just dreadful, but now it's like there's 10%, there's 11%. Maybe they think it's not OP enough and they need to add some more 
<laughs> Shit, that's OP. Um, like, I don't know what they're trying to do. Maybe they just think because there's a calm in the meta and everything's more or less equal right now, they can throw out a few OP things and, and just see how it works. The original big big four of Vanguard was, were uh, OTT, Nova Grapplers, Kagero, and Royal Paladins. Sometimes Gold Paladins, depending on who you were talking to. Uh, you know, and maybe they want to start reinstating that again, because I know that they're doing quite a few things with Magus and whatnot. And I know there's going to be some interesting stuff coming out for Nova Grapplers sometime in the future. It's really just going to be a lot of interesting stuff here. But like I said, you know, Conroe searches out any Overlord. If you want to run Original Dragonic Overlord, you can. Um, and guarantee it in your hand all the time. Oh, that's right. He fuels this guy's ability during the main phase. <laughs> Since, again, all Overlords are Flame Dragons. This card is probably the best support in this deck. Uh, straight up. Like, Nahalem's a close second. And then maybe Bar or Berserk Lord, depending on how you value Counter Blasts. This guy, eh. Uh, simply because he's Counter Blast, Soul Blast. But he, this guy's discard a card, and it could even be the card you just drew if you want to. I mean, come on. There's no stopping you. <laughs> the things are limitless. Um, you know, so there's just a lot of things you can do with this deck. And most of it involves screwing over your enemy. Uh, so, Lizard Hero Undo. He was from the Trial Deck. Four runner, G break one, counter blast one, put this unit into the soul. Oh hey, another act where you search out a grade three. Flame Dragon, search your deck for up to one card with Overlord in the card name. Grade three Flame Dragon. And reveal to your opponent, put into your hand shuffle deck. So this guy's a target of opportunity. If you're playing a deck that kills rear guards, kill this son of a bitch first. Because there's no point in not using him as soon as it comes in. Because you also have Lizard Soul General Conroe and a few others running around. That basically makes it free. Like, it used to be that you could be like, okay, he's run out of Counter Blast. He can't dope me anymore. But now it's like, oh no, Conroe. Making Overlord free. Like, literally, if he has three Overlord, D Dragonic Overlord of the Ends, and he you can't block him, he can just start discarding it. Because it unflips for free. There's no limits to the unflipping. They just have to attack uh, anything at all. Auto, Vanguard, when this unit attacks, counter charge two. Ugh. So evil. So what they could do is counter blast, counter blast, counter blast, soul blast, counter blast. You could literally spend all five counter blasts in a single turn and flip over four with Dragonic Overlord the Legend. And it would be pretty easy, too, with one of these, with this, with this guy, and, uh, even, hell, you can go all five with Berserk Lord. Just, yeah. And Berserk Lord used to be Counter Blast 2, kill one thing. A bad blaster blade, essentially. Good card. For Sight 10 Master Goku, he used to be a grade 3, which is when you reveal a grade 3 kill unit. Now he's a critical. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Or how the mighty have become less o so less OP that they're basically a crit trigger. Yeah. And then finally, Ke Kenrin Master jo Gojo. He used to be Dragon Monk Gojo. Uh, tap, discard a card, draw a card. Um, he's pretty good. Uh, and as a draw trigger, he ain't bad. Uh, I kind of wish I had brought my... Kagero stuff, but you're going to have to go with what I'm talking about. But first, we have to talk about Strides. You didn't think I forgot about them, did you? I did. Uh, but hey, we have unforgotten about them now. Huh. Actually, I'm just going to talk about these in that order. So, Transcendence Divine Dragon Novel Vague Lexpress. Lacepress? I don't know how to pronounce that. Once per turn, Vanguard, once per turn, G Break, well, two. Counter Blast, choose a face down Dragonic Novel Vague Express. Lexpress from your G Zone, turn it face up until under turn. This unit gets continuous. During this battle that this unit attacks, your opponent cannot call. Trade one cards from hand to Guardian Circle. And continuous. During your turn, the amount of. The number of cards in your opponent's damage zone is five or more. All your opponent's trigger effects are nullified. This is the one of the nastiest strides ever invented. 
Like, Heavy Duke is a pretty nasty thing, especially since you're comboing up him with Laurel, he draws on hit, and you can't do a grade 1. But at the very least, he's Counter Blast 2. One of the benefits of this guy being G-Break 2, and he requires a Metal Borg uh, Soul, too, uh, Heart. This guy is G-Break 2. Thank goodness. However, that's a very small sort of feeling uh, compared to... Uh, you know, sort of the, the problems with this. When this guy shows up, most of what you're going to be depending on is perfect shields. So if a Kagura player is smart, they'll Dragonic Overlord to soften you up a bit if they want to, or they'll just go straight for the Lex Breast into your anus. Um, and just sort of take you from there. Because that's just nasty. And here's the thing, there's no requirements for it besides the Counter Blast. And we already proved that we can just do all five, all five Counter Blasts and undo four of them when it comes time to do the Legend. So there just isn't a lot that we can do here with this guy except, you know, hope and pray that you have enough grade zeros. Or special interceptors like Bar, which is a 30k defense. This will always swing for, uh, well, let's see, if they actually do some Dragon Partner Monikas, this will swing for 36, 26k. Uh, that's three grade zero ten k boot, uh, def and, uh, triggers for a one pass, and that assumes they're not pulling out other shenanigans. And if you were a smart Kagero player, <laughs> uh, wait, no, that's not the right one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You are. Anyway, Supreme Heavenly Dr Emperor Dragon Vortex Desire. Uh, choose your face down card from your G zone, turn this face up. When this unit attacks a vanguard, flip a one from the G zone, turn that face up. If you do, until end of battle, this unit gets. When this unit attack hits, for each flame dragon on your vanguard circle, choose up to one of your grade two or less rear guards and retire it. So basically, that's a guarantee to retire. Uh, I assume, of course, that you're brake riding. I mean, sorry, striding on top of the legend. Um, because that makes this thing so fast. Don't you know? Um, however, if you do it over a legion, that's up to three, if I understand the wording of this ability. So in other words, you know, there's all kinds of nastiness you can do with this guy, and most of it involves retiring the other guy's units. It does work that way with legion. Good. Thank you. Um, so basically what you do is first turn, you know you can't do the legend first because he's G-Break too. But you do this guy, you swing in with the Legend to kill two of his units. Hopefully he's perfect shielding, because then you do it. Or you troll him, let him hit, and then let's see here. Uh, he, you have to choose, but let's say you don't put it down any rear guards in your back row. Well, maybe he has to kill the two front row units you attacked with him last turn. That'd be funny, right? That would be a good strategy. Rather than, you know, having to intercept or waste the grade two units in the front row, you can actually... Um, you know, let him retire it for his ability rather than something more important. Who knows, maybe you'll fight a Kagero player that dumb. Point is, it gets you to G-Break 2 immediately. There's also a card that's on hit, Soul Blast 1, Kill a Column. And I believe that does flip over another copy of itself or another copy of any stride. Uh, that's also an excellent unit, but that's not coming out till Fire's Collection. Point is, that gets you to G-Break first turn. Uh, this will can kill a column. It can kill two rear guards in the front kill two rearguards in the back. He does just about anything, and he's basically free. In fact, no, he pays you to use his ability. Let's not kid ourselves. Finally, Supreme Heavily Emperor Dragon Dragonic Overlord, the Ace, or as I like to call him, Dota. Um, Counterblast 2. Choose a face down <laughs> the Ace uh, from your G-Zone, turn it face up. If the number of face-up cards in your G-Zone is two or more, this unit gets Drive minus one. Choose a card from your hand, discard it. Choose an Overlord in the card name from your hand, discard it. So you discard two, including one Overlord. Oh wait, all Overlords are Grade 3 Flame Dragons. What do so much of the deck lets you search for? Grade 3 Flame Dragons. So, with the Overlord name in it. So great. Um, technically, it could be anything with Overlord in it. It doesn't have to be a Grade 3. But I'm just going to say you're probably only going to have Grade 3 Overlords. Uh, at the end of the battle, that are also Flame Dragons. Uh, at the end of the battle, this unit attacked a Vanguard. You may pay the cost if you do. Stand it, plus 5k. Even if you do not pay this cost, the ability cannot be used again for the rest, cannot be used for the rest of the turn. Uh, 
So basically when you attack, you have to restand, but there's no point in not restanding. Because otherwise you would have wasted those cards for nothing. Uh, really added as a promo, he really tank the price of the Fires Collection if it wasn't for the Seven Seas guy pushing him back up into like $30 a card uh, limits. Uh, with this, it does, uh, it has the longest name in all the cards of Vanguard, but it does have a few weaknesses in that it's only a plus two unless you're running like six draw triggers, uh, in which case you're likely to hit one in the four drive checks you get. Uh, because remember, you discard two, and you have to discard a specific grade three, uh, because it's mostly going to be grade threes. In fact, I don't think there is a grade two overlord at all. Um, so you discard two, then you have four dry trigger checks. Now, if you're just running like a 12 crit deck, that's going to be literal four cards. If you have draws, that could be more. So you could hit stride numbers that you would normally hit otherwise, but even though it's four tri trigger checks, it is still just two extra cards to hand. Especially since you had to discard at least one card to stride. It's no different from riding the grade three and attacking. So you gotta be sure of the kill when you're gonna play this guy. Because this guy doesn't have a cost that you have to pay. This guy has a counter blast, and then no cost that you have to pay. But this guy does and you have to be careful, especially if you don't have overlords in your hand. Honestly, when the 16 card uh, G-Zone comes out, you should play him. Uh, in this stack, guaranteed. But until then, I would actually put him as optional, unless you're running an, such an Overlord-focused stack that you can't run anything else's strides. However, I'm not running an Overlord-focused stack. I'm going to be running an interesting combo I will describe now, actually. So what can you do with the Legend? Obviously, you can play this deck as is. Honestly, there's not a lot of improvements I would make to it. I feel that the uh, crit triggers are ugly as hell, and the heal triggers are ugly as hell. Uh, maybe you don't want to run the bars, maybe you want to run something else in the Berserk Lords, you know, depending on how you want to do it. But really, you know, there's not, no real complaints about this deck. The perfect shields work great. Uh, you got all kinds of grade 1 and grade 1 support that works to make sure your overlords go for it. But let's say, you know, what combos can we do outside of the deck? First off, the grade 3 slot isn't all it's cracked up to be. Amber Dragon is an on-ride or on-call kill, counterblast one, kill one at G-break. He's probably the least lustrous thing in this deck. Uh, so what can we do? Well, there's a whole bunch of different choices that we can make. Uh, like I said earlier, you can break ride with Dauntless Dragon. You can also do Dragonic Overlord if you decide that you want to break ride first instead of striding, which is a weird move, but hey, I admire your testicles. Uh, then we have things like Weathercross. I actually am going to be playing Weathercross. Uh, with it. It's, Weathercross is a seal dragon. He's break ride. Uh, I don't think he's counter blast anything. Plus 10k to your vanguard. Your opponent chooses two, uh, sorry, you choose two cards your opponent has to search top four for up to two gray twos. You kill the two cards, by the way. Uh, and then you place them on rear guard circles. That guarantees you um, basically a front row, especially if you choose the back row units, because there's no way they can get rid of it. Then you attack with a 36k Dragonic Overlord tw uh, twice. Um, there's, uh, there's also the benefit of the Seal Dragon Stride, which does gain critical triggers, at the same time is basically the same as Vortex Dragon. Vortex Dragon shines best in Dragonic Overlord the Great as a support card. Other support card, other dr Overlord support cards that aren't also break rides. We have any of the Dragonic Overlords. You could run two axes, two dotes. Uh, Legion Hybrid uh, sort of thing. Uh, stride so Hybrid, there we go. You could also run for the Greats and then replace probably Bar and one Berserk Lord for a uh, series of Perdition Dragon or Grade 2s. You could also do Dotes by themselves. It works perfectly with Conroe. However, the powers that you put out there will not be better than 21k, so that's not as good. This is a stride-focused deck, uh, so really non-stride stuff won't work as great. There's also Blade Master can work because this is a stride-focused deck, some Twilight Arrows, uh, some of those special crits. You could really get some stuff going while you're waiting for Dragonic Overload the Legend to come online. And I think uh, Blade Master is also a Flame Dragon. Yes, Flame Dragon. Uh, then we have... Uh, lesser things. Lawkeeper. 
You might be like, Ben, why would you choose Lawkeeper? All it is is Limit Break 4, Counter Blast 1, Bind all their rear guards. Well, one thing is that you can play a lot of cards out there that are based on uh, the opponent having less cards uh, in hand than you. So you basically bind all their cards, you play these cards that gain power based on how many cards less than you they have. Then we have things like uh, Dragon Dancer Monica because she boosts any flame dragon. Uh, that's all of a sudden hits a whole bunch of 21Ks and they don't have any interceptors. Uh, then we also have th th this. You could also run any of the superior riders. I won't recommend that personally because Blazing Flare is the only really good one for uh, Kagero. And even then he's not as good because you would have to replace a lot of this deck with some lackluster support. But still, it's, it's still pretty good. Um, actually, because I have a whole bunch of people here, I've already talked about break rides and a few others. Any grade threes come to mind to combo up with a uh, Dragonic Overlord, the Legend? We already talked about the break rides. Actually, Dauntless Reverse would also work with it if you were going through uh, your triggers and you decide, hey, look, I'm just going to run this guy again, a Flame Dragon. Thank you. Oh, Eddie, it's good. It's good. You did good. Uh, let's see here. One last thing that you could do is the Amber Dragon series. Now, instead of running Midnight, you could run the Grade 3, or you could just run Midnight's if you want to. But basically, it's the Amber Dragon is a Gen 2 ride chain where you ride the Grade 1 over a... Um, ride the Grade 1 over a 0, and then you automatically search out the Grade 2. That ride chain is fantastically... Uh, consistent. And since a 1 equals a grade 2, you can actually run less grade 2 support, more grade 1 support. Um, I'm literally just going through it in sequence, and I can't really think of anything else right now. I'm sure that some people can put in the comments that, you know, what sort of grade 3s they like running with their uh, Kagero unit. Like I said, I'm going to be trying out Kagero Seal Dragon Weathercross, because Weathercross doesn't actually require any Seal Dragon stuff with it, you know. Uh, and you can run some of the Seal Dragon Prevention of Interceptors so that they can't screw you over uh, in the long run. Um, and because strides take the name of the people they're riding over, if you stride over Weathercross, they also get Seal Dragon at name, which means that you can use all the Seal Dragon support. Ha <laughs> um, ha! Other people are running Dauntless. Other people are combining it with various Overlord uh, other guys. Uh, by the way, I think a friend is running the Rebirth uh, with this guy. And I actually really look forward to seeing how that deck functions. You know, there's just a whole lot of choices. This guy can win you games, but you have to build a support around him. And I really think Amber Dragon Midnight and a couple of the other cards like Berserk Lord just need something that will push him over the top. The strides are great. Novell is a cheap piece of shit in the good way. Uh, or not the good way, but in the way that I'll hate it every single time someone rides and I don't have enough great zeros in hand. And I'm at 5 damage. Um, this guy's great. Uh, the ace, even the ace. Just the fact that you get two of the aces, which were both worth, worth $26, $30 in their prime, as well as the deck box, you know, make this deck worthwhile to you on the merits of those cards alone and the legend. Um, you need co uh, perfect shields for Kagero because they're always more expensive than they should be. Buy this thing. You know, there is no reason you should not buy this uh, deck. Can't pay right <coughs> Prostitution, Tony, and you know it. Um, that's right. Um, yeah, that's all I have to really say about this. Look forward to my deck profile that I'll be putting together uh, in hopefully less than a week. I'll probably just start working on it tonight, though, because I have really been looking forward to this thing. I might even make this deck while I'm listening to a... Uh, oh, shit. What's the name of it? Scrub talk, thank you. Uh, uh, listen to a swart, uh, a scrub talk, or even a training with the king, which should be coming out as soon as the editor gets off his lazy ass. Uh, Talking with the black guy? Or waste with the black guy? Yeah, yeah, that guy too. Hey, you could also do waste with the black guy. Is there anyone else doing any series that I should plug here? Last chance for some free advertising. Oh, they're all just like that. I'm on my free cams, but that's a different thing, I guess. I will never watch that. Wow. Never. Okay. Never. I'm not into that. You can't make me join you on there, Tony. Uh, so, 
All right, then that covers everything. Uh, this has been a real fun time. I really like this deck. I might even buy more of it, one more of it sometime in the future, or just buy it off online to get some more shinies or to get my hands on some more Monicas, who I really see a lot of potential out of. This has been Ben Wheeler, the Mercenary King, signing out, and have a wonderful rest of your night.